Okay. I bet it picks this up good. My name's Nick Jensen, I'm 25. I've lived in London for 25 years. Probably a bit more time towards art, actually, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, it's just because you get older and it starts to hurt more skating and art doesn't hurt more and you get better at it. And so, in a sense, it's a scale where your education and understanding of art increases. With skating, you kind of, you kind of things hurt more. And yeah. I still think you can push skating, though, the older you get because you think of new ideas. It's, ne it's never ending, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. Um, I was quite influenced by a fellow student actually, it's Martin, who were doing really small paintings as well and I just thought, fuck, that's so cool, like, you, you don't necessarily think about that until you actually start doing it. Yeah. And um, I think sometimes they have more effect being smaller, because um, yeah. they're smaller, so they, they, they acquire a bit more, like, uh, attention. So they're more, they have more impact in, in that way. Uh, I don't know, I just think, uh, I think skating is also sort of like, doing loads of different sort of things, it's more sketchy. I quite like having something a bit more like anal, like, you know what I mean, controlled. I quite like the way it's like tight. Do you have any interests outside of the art and skating? Uh, table tennis and golf, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely, I mean, it, with that education and that constant criticism that you get at art school, that constant scrutiny, it really makes you think. You have to, you're going to the library a lot and you're really thinking about it. It forces you to really analyse yeah. what you're doing, why you're doing it. Every mark you make, what, what, what's the point behind that? Like you take full responsibility for the images that you make. Yeah. Um, whereas sort of skate art or art that's not really been that well educated, I'm not saying that's bad, I just mean it tends to be a bit more figurative and about expression and less about like sort of um, intellectual ideas if it looks like a photograph, for example, yeah. which is more about representation. Well, a lot of your artwork is quite photorealistic. Yeah, yeah, uh, um, I suppose it's something I'm sort of trying to challenge a bit more because I think that's a bit of a trap that people can get because you're just sort of like achieving uh, a kind of like a pretty picture, essentially, and you're not re you're kind of, you're, you're kind of like, that seems to become a concern. You're not really pushing, like, because you're, you're sort of scared of like doing something that's, that's going to be shit. My new work, sort of trying to sort of think about the, um, kind of collaboration between abstract and figurative. So I'm trying to sort of involve like more free brush strokes within the tight frame of the sort of, for example here, the, the sort of more identified objects, more free and it's more abstract and the background's more um, straight and more um, figurative. Yeah. So I'm sort of trying to think about that more. Um, what is uh, your main motivation behind the series you're doing at the moment? Uh, I think it's basically about um, Making something that's based based in like reality, so it's physical space. You can actually understand it, but it's about an emotional, more psychological kind of um, okay. property. So it's more about feelings, and and it's also more interesting to create for me to challenge myself to sort of create things that are a bit more I don't know peculiar that don't necessarily have that much like. They're not that obvious. They're, they're, they're just a bit. They're a bit strange. It's more fun because it, it, it's more arresting to the eye. It's less like you don't get it like that. It's more curious. I was trying to skate the other day and I was trying to get a good song in my head because I was trying to film a line which sort of. I was trying to get like a more of a, like a dope gangster tune in my head to sort of yeah, propel yeah, me yeah, to like yeah, pop yeah. it out the trick more and stuff and, okay. and I just couldn't get like I just couldn't get like a certain line out of my head and I wanted to have more of the song. Yeah. And it's pissing me off, and some that was annoying. But when I'm when I'm like doing paintings, I just listen to like something mellow, like the XX, yeah. and it has a bit more of like a tranquil sort of setting. Yeah, so it makes you, yeah, it makes you, it works well with what you're doing. Yeah, I, don't know. I, I love the fact that people want to see, want want to give me stuff and are stoked on it. Like I can't believe that. I mean, I, I like the fact that someone's willing to film me, and so therefore I can do something I think is cool and get it and have it documented. A lot of people can't have that. Yeah. There are times, yeah, when it's a bit annoying when you feel obliged to do something you don't want to do, but I think it's pretty fucking cool. And I like the fact that there's more like reason to do it than yeah. just to skate. Like, oh, fuck that sh like, shit. I quite like the fact that there's something that's like telling you, you know, you're good or people think that and you should tr try and like hear, hear some free stuff. Like it makes you a bit more motivated. London's so big. Like right now there's loads of spots I've never seen. And that makes me feel like, fuck, I should know where they are. 
it's never ending. Yeah, I think so. I mean, the older you get, the more like, and if you're just solely skating, sometimes when the weather's bad or it's not going to plan, if you're like me and you've got a lot of things going on in your mind, it's sometimes hard to like get that out. So it's good to have something else to put put that sort of side of me into. You know, I still get like in like weird feelings from walking around seeing certain buildings and stuff like that. I don't know. There's just so much. Like as much as you like seek out and find new things, there's always new like things you find and fun. You end up in weird areas you've never seen before and it's just like, it's, it's really fun. Yeah. I think it's like, sometimes it's hard because it's just like shit weather and people are annoying yeah. or whatever, just general commuters and stuff, but pretty sick. Everyone's pretty up for doing stuff all the time. Like it's fun and fun like atmosphere. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, I'm not, I'd like to think I'm going to travel the world and do loads of exciting things, but I don't know, probably just end up stuck here.